Hello everybody, this is Danny Veloz. Today we have another Android Jelly Bean 4.2.0 on our Pipo S1 tablet. So let's take a look about the Android version. As you can see this is 4.2.2 baseband version unknown, kernel version 3036+. plus. So this is the build number. So everything is good. So first you have to download the firmware. This one, people is on firmware 4.2.2 version 1.1. So download, put the tablet in uh, update mode. Then run RARCHIP batch tool 1.7, select the image and then press restore button. Ok, so after that you have to shut down the tablet, put it in, put it again in the flash mode, then run RK Android tool. Here you have to change the address from come on. Yes. Here you have to put four instead of zero, so the address will be this one. Okay, then you have to press the flash from button button. After that you'll boot the firmware, the tablet. We have uh, super user, so we have root access, we have clockwork mode recovery installed, so we have to install a zip file to repair something. So install from Play Store quick boot or something similar. Go in recovery, ok, and in recovery mode you have to install a zip from SD card, ok, so install zip from SD card, ok, ok, this one, RK30 Jelly Bean Format NAND, ok. So, we have to wait. We have to wait about one minute and then everything is done. So we have uh, Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2, we have Router RCS, we have uh, Clockwork Mode Recovery installed. As you can see, this is 6.0.3.1. Ok, then press Reboot System. We have full HD output HDMI mode it's working I check this out so the rotate sensor the G sensor it's working so everything is good I have to test it more but you can try it can try it, why not? So, the G sensor, it's working, okay. So, in Antutu benchmark,
this is the score 11,647 points ok so there is no lag everything is ok I have to thank thanks thank to Real Maple for this firmware. Okay. So that's it. That's all. See you soon. Goodbye.